guys, Aaron here today. A quick little VR I'm going to make. I've been having troubles with my computer and I couldn't figure out why. And after watching God knows how many videos on Linus Tech Tip and a few other things and trying to gather some information, I had found out I had the issue of my CPU is bottlenecked because it's overheating. The stock cooler is just no good anymore. So I went ahead and ordered a... Where is it? Ah, there it is. Antec C40 CPU cooler. Looks something like that. And, well, just thought I'd do a little slap together video of me putting it in. I'm not really gonna do much about showing you what I'm doing because I don't have a tripod for my camera and I really don't want to one hand this shit. So yeah, it's nothing special CPU, nothing special computer, sorry. It's just a good old desktop. I haven't touched it, so bought it as is and going to start doing some upgrades so I can actually start playing some decent games. But it's got the stock CPU cooler as you can see. There's my crappy NVIDIA graphics card. It's only a uh, GeForce 505 I think. It's, sorry, it's a GTX 505, one of the two. NVIDIA card. Does the job. It's not bad. Plays most AAA games. Some it doesn't so I've got to get more RAM because I've only got one sticker DDR. DDR3, I think it is. So the DDR3 or DDR4, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's just DDR3, 1600 megahertz. Yeah, it's just DDR3, 4 gig, 600 meg. Nothing special, so at least if I get another stick of that, I get 8 gig, I can play better games. But yeah, let's go from there. Okay, so I'm halfway through it. So far, I've got about the. Um, GPU cooler mount around the CPU. This is what the cooler actually looks like. It looks freaking sweet. I like the look of it. Like that's just awesome, man. Like look at that thing. That beastie. Stock fan. And their fan works well. There's. I think this is a blue lit LED fan. So the blue or it's not lit at all. I can't remember, but yeah, looks cool. I love the look of this thing, and it just fits. I'm very happy. But what the instructions say you gotta do, because I've never installed one of these before, so usually it's water cooled or nothing, but got these little clips, little clear clips here, little black clips, clear clips go into the actual CPU mount like that. There's three specific slots as long as it wants to focus. No, it doesn't want to focus, come on. Yeah, so you've got three slots there. The top one is for what was it? The top one is for 1366 CPUs, LGA1366, the middle one is for LGA1155s, and the end one is the one closest in to the center is for LGA775 CPUs, which I don't think anyone even uses any of those CPUs anymore, maybe on servers and stuff like that, but not on gaming PCs anyway, I don't think you'd find anything good that works for that. But I've ripped everything out, just to give myself as much room to work with as possible. Because last thing I want to do is accidentally break the graphics card or snap my RAM in half and not be able to put this video up. So, yeah. I shall continue. Okay, so I've got the mounting bracket in. So, that's about it, really. And next step is thermal paste and... Which, as you can see by how clean my CPU is, I never had any on there because I cleaned my CPU fan at one point because my stock cooler because it was dirty as Frick, because these things surprisingly attract a shit ton of dust. I don't know if you can see much of that dust in there, but this is nothing in comparison to what it used to be. It was horrendous, but you can see the um, you can see the markings around the side there. If it wants to focus, the um scoring. That's the fan actually wobbling and hitting it. Pretty sure that fan's stuffed. But yeah, so go ahead and put the cooler in I guess. Okay, so all done getting the cooler in. Couldn't get it in the way I wanted it to because there was a couple of RGBs and everything in the way. But there we go, she's in. Looks freaking bitchin' like. That is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I wanted it pointing so the fan was drawing in from out of there. So it kept it nice and cool, but you never know, I might be able to Pull the original heatsink and stock cooler and use it as a um, 
external cooler. But yeah, she's in there. Power is connected. I really wish I could remove that. See, that's gonna hit the fan. I may have to zip tie that back. I realize my cable management is shit house, but you know, what are you gonna get from a stock computer? Really? About the only thing I've done is I put a God, what is it? A SATA drive in there which I killed, so which originally had my running system it was much quicker with the SATA drive because the transfer rates on SATA drive are much quicker than um normal disk drives I guess. Disc hard drives, but yeah, let me go ahead and put the graphics card and the CPU and the um, RAM back in and fire it up and see how we go. I already know what the benchmark is of my computer. I know it was running idle at about 27 degrees uh, Celsius, but I don't know what the benchmark was of it running playing a game. So I don't know. Let's see how we go. Fishy. Sorry about the crappy light, but how cool is that, man? Yeah, it looks freaking awesome. I love it. In and running up the BIOS, I have the fan turboed up for now. It's I'm just gonna leave it running like that so we can keep the CPU temperature low just in case if anything goes wrong. But what we're seeing so far is pretty much exactly what I had before between 26 and 28 degrees Fahrenheit or 82.4 degrees. Sorry, 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit and 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. So it's not a huge, it, it's not really a drop at all. RAM's running quite warm, so I hope that comes down. But, you know, I'm not expecting to see much right now. Like there, the fan turbo's up to 1300 RPM, 1300 RPM when it, cool, when it heats up and then drops back down again. I did want to try and overclock my CPU. I don't know if I will or not. I just want to, I know it's capable of going, it's a 3.3 gigahertz CPU. Pissy little thing, nothing special. I know it's capable of going to 3.5, uh, 3.5 gigahertz safely, but I don't know. I guess I'll give it a go and hope, pray to God I don't destroy my CPU because it's an i3, a Core i3, it's not the worst Core i3 in the world, it's an Ivy Bridge Core i3, so it's okay, and it's overclockable, my motherboard is, uh, supports overclocking, so, I don't know, well that's it I guess, I guess I'll do a little bit more testing and go on from there, but, there, done, I'm happy with that, and as you can hear, Whisper quiet. Freaking awesome. Anyway, that's that. Don't know whether you've ever installed one of those yourselves or not, but I haven't, and that was a serious learning curve. Like um, trying to install the CPU cooler with the sticker that says "Before use, please remove." Still attached. Freaking smart of me, wasn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching, and guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. I've been Aaron, see ya.